to review, much less reverse any decision of the Supreme Court. Do you agree with me? Yes, Your Honor, definitely not. No such, no such power. Uh, yes, and because, and this is because of the hierarchy in our governmental setup, is it not? Yes, Your Honor. In so far as the judicial department is concerned, the head is the Supreme Court, who, and on top of that is the is the chair is the uh, chief uh, chief chief justice. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor. Now, yes, sir. do you know of any branch of the government that can go deep? by way of constitutional <coughs> function into examining the decisions or orders of the Supreme Court? Uh, none in the, cons well, if, if we're talking about decisions of the Supreme Court. Even, course, yes, go ahead, please. Then it's only the Supreme Court. Also. So there is no governmental function or machinery that can dig deeper into the wisdom, validity, and correctness or constitutionality of any decision of the Supreme Court. Yes, in the exercise of its uh, judicial review. All right. Now, is there, any, is there any function allotted to the executive department whereby it can review, even in a minor sense, the decision or orders of the Honorable Supreme Court? Reviewing the decisions and orders of the Supreme Court? Also none, because also. the Supreme Court is... And uh, uh, you must agree with me that this is embodied in several decisions already, like the Borromeo, the Malabang versus uh, Court, of, Court of Appeals case, whereby a party litigant lost his case in Negros, went to the Court of Appeals, the decision was also in favor, in favor of his opponent, went to the Supreme Court and it was denied. Filed the motion for reconsideration, the motion is denied, so what he did was to go to the, to the office of the president and file an administrative case against the members of the Supreme Court. And that was dismissed by the Supreme Court. Do you recall that case? Well, I, I don't exactly recall that case, but, but, but there the was, principle involved. Yeah, but there was a dick. I'm sorry. Kindly go ahead. The principle involved, I, I'm familiar with. All right. And there was a dictum in there stating that there is no authority or governmental setup in our system of government, not even the office of the president can review, much less reverse, any decision of the Supreme Court. Am I right? Yes, Your Honor, in the you exercise of this You recognize review. that? Yes, Your Honor. In the governmental setup, necessarily the Supreme Court is higher than the, any of the departments of the executive department. The, the judiciary, the Supreme Court, is a co-equal <coughs> branch. Yeah. The, in so far as the departments are concerned, right? Yes, Your Honor. But how, I'm referring to the other cabinet, uh, ca ca the cabinet of the, of, of the president, are they, or, or the departments under the president, are they co-equal with this? Is that what you wanted to tell us? Well, the um, departments or the executive offices under the office of the president, they all form part of the executive department. Correct. So they have the executive department, all executive officers have their respective powers and prerogatives in the exercise of the executive power, and the executive branch of government happens to be a co-equal branch of and government. It, and in the distribution of powers under the Constitution, it is not the cabinet member of the department officials that are on level with the judiciary, is it not? Well, it, is the, the, it is the president the or the chief executive. The uh, officers under the executive department or specifically the cabinet secretaries, they are considered the alter egos right. of the president. Right. Now, if that is so, why could there be a dispute relative to the validity of the resolution of the Honorable Supreme Court in connection with the issue one support order by a secretary of the department, oh, uh, uh, secretary of the president. There is an issue because of the uh, propriety of the TRO. As I explained earlier, responding to the question of the Honorable Presiding Officer, uh, we are questioning the propriety of the TRO because it violates or it went against or goes against the very essence 
of and the, a TRO. And after your challenge against the TRO had been resolved, is there any alternative left to, the under, to any member of the cabinet to disobey the order or ruling of the Supreme Court, irrespective of the nobility of purpose on the part of the Secretary? Yes, if there, well, if there is a final ruling on the issue of the validity of the TRO, then we will have no choice but to adhere to the TRO, because that would be a final ruling of the Supreme Court, and we cannot reverse the Supreme Court on that, that in, matter. Right. I understand that in this case there was a ruling already in so far as the TRO is concerned, is it not? Yes, Your Honor, that was November and, 18. Yes, and, and that had never been amended, much less repealed or revoked as of this, as of this time, is it not? No, Your Honor, because oh, it denied precisely the motion to lift and or motion for reconsideration was of the, the November 15, 2011 TRO. And the motion to lift was denied? The motion to lift was denied that, in so the that, resolution of November 18. And it means, to us, it means therefore that the TRO stands as it is. As of November 18, it was not yet clear because of the dispute on the, on the exact interpretation, the import of the TRO, whether it was, it was already considered effective on account of the non-compliance by petitioners with condition number two. Is, Nalaman po natin... Is that, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mr. Madam Secretary. Go ahead, okay. please. As of November 18, hindi pa ho klaro yun na effective na yung TRO. Wala pa nga ho silang pinalabas any confirmation, any order, any ruling na yes, there had been compliance already with the conditions of the TRO. So pagkakaalam ko po, kailangan ng separate order or any clarification from the Supreme Court doon sa compliance. And it is only when there has been a confirmation of the full compliance and with the conditions na pwede na nating sabihin na naging effective na po I know, TRO. Oh, I know that you had been a practitioner of note before entering the government. Is that right? Yes, Your Honor. All right. And uh, you must have been in continuously in appellate practice. Well, I have some exposure to appellate practice. Yeah. I, I, and you knew that the Supreme Court acts in bank and also in a, in a division. Yes, po. And yes, the decisions sir. of the court, Supreme Court, whether in bank or in division, must be a majority decision. Yes, sir. It is the, in its entirety, it is the responsibility of all the members who participated therein, not a particular member, not even solely by the ponente. Yes, sir. All right. Now, in this particular instance, there is a statement in here, and I, may I be allowed to read it for your benefit? Respondent betrayed public trust through his partiality in granting a temporary restraining order in favor of former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. My understanding of this particular impeachment article is that it was the Honorable Chief, Sec uh, Chief uh, Corona who issued the restraining order. Is that correct? Or do you agree with that? based on the allegation of this impeachment uh, complaint? Well, as, as crafted, so, it seems to be the, the connotation, but uh, it's, it's actually referring to the TRO as issued. Yes, and the, in that, par that particular TRO issued was not solely issued only by the Chief Justice. In fact, he has no participation in the issue once thereof. Well, he, he, has, he uh, uh, concurred in the issuance of the TRO because he was he, he was one of the eight members so he who voted in favor of the issuance of the TRO in November well, why, why, why do you, could you give us an explanation as to why the charges were merely labeled against the Chief Justice notwithstanding the fact that there would have been no TRO had there been no concurrence of the majority of the court? Well there was an well, the allegation is with respect to partiality. Now, betrayal of public trust because of the partiality on the part of the respondent in issuing the TRO, which had the effect of aiding the former president to, to leave the country and escape 
prosecution no, of I escape. Not, I have not gone that far yet. My only question is, since this TRO, according to you, was granted by the Supreme Court acting in bank, and there were, and there were, uh, there were eight justices who participated therein. In fact, there is an allegation that the rest of the other members of the Supreme Court conspired and confederated with the Chief Justice in issuing this TRO. Do you subscribe to that view, or maybe hear your comment in connection with it? Uh, objection, uh, Mr. President. What is Question the is basis misleading. of what's the there's basis no, of there's no admission? What, the, what of, is the basis no. of the objection? Yes, the the question uh, is predicated on the I was claim just, claim that there is cons that there is conspiracy among the, well, the like justices. Oh, yes, Your Honor, please. So I, I I object to that because uh, there's no such allegation. I'm not uh, saying the it. Of conspiracy, nor is there any statement I, by the witness, but that there was conspiracy. I'm not. I am not. Uh, I have not gone that far, Your Honor. I just predicated my question on your admission to the question uh, to the clarificatory questions made by the Honorable uh, Senator a while ago, that the eight or the other members conspired with the Chief Justice that enabled the Chief Justice to issue this alleged so, questionable so, restraining so, so order. So the question, um, Mr. President, I understand therefore that the question is hypothetical. In other words, Oh no! <laughs> because there's no, uh, there's no admission of conspiracy submit, Your Honor. here. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Uh, the question is: uh, Did the counsel for the, the uh, member of the prosecution asserted that uh, the respondent conspired with other members of the court to issue the TRO? I that, 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 that question. Yes, I'm no, sorry, Your Honor. Asserted. Yes, Your Honor. It now was, I, it was asserted by whom? By the Honorable uh, <laughs> Congressman Dasa. All right. Let us, let us appeal to the record, to be fair. <laughs> there uh, was a the, question, Your Honor. Mr. Ogdabel, will you kindly check the uh, questioning by the uh, gentleman from or, Samar to find out whether he used the word cons conspired or conspiracy? Mm -hmm. So in order to be fair, are, uh, all these things are recorded, so... I, I'll just withdraw the question. If the question